Hello everybody, welcome to the second semi-final of the Season 4 Chalice. We've got Arzawain with his uh, disgusting dwarves, actually. Millions of millions of doubles on this team. Millions of stand... I think he's got seven stand for them. Seven mighty blow and nine guard. Or ten guard, yeah. Lots of... Yeah, ten guard, I think. And then seven and seven of stand for them and mighty blow. And he's got the movement eight, edge two plus runner. Unbelievable team. Um, up against Bright, who presumably has lost the toss because he's kicking. And he's actually got a pretty get great Orc team as well. He's got the Sneaky Get Dirty player. And he's got a bunch of guard and some you know, some randoms there. He's got like grab and stuff, but um, a couple of injuries. But yeah, this, this dwarf team of, of Arzawains is unbelievable. So he's got to be favourite. But uh, let's hope he doesn't win. <laughs> hey, I feel I feel bad now being so about being so anti Arzawain. Honestly, Arzawain never said anything after the whole thing, um, after the whole UC avoidance scandal. He never said anything. But I always kind of thought less of him with him being an admin, right? Like that. That I thought that was that was why I thought worse of Arzawain because he was an admin and like you know that was kind of. A bigger, a bigger betrayal, wasn't it, with him being an admin and, and doing the avoidance, and then Sergal was just an absolute idiot about it afterwards. So Sergal, Sergal was a bad, acted like a bad person. <laughs> Arzawain didn't act like a bad person, but um, was kind of like in a worse, in a worse position. Uh, but then what's happened today is <laughs> there's been a, another group of people exposed as match fixing completely. Five five draws, four four draws on the ladder. Um, so yeah, that's pretty unbelievable. They're worse than the UC, aren't they, those fellas? So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty unbelievable. So we'll see what happens with those, and because uh, that is as C Rose said in the chat, which I don't know if it'll be on the YouTube video. But that is way worse than avoiding the draw. Yeah. And, and also, like, no plausible deniability whatsoever, right? Like, everybody knows that spinning into your buddy and drawing 5-5 five five while making two blocks is just obviously cheating. Everybody knows that. <laughs> so they have absolutely zero defense. Whereas, honestly, some of the UC, like, actually, it was actually their story was believable, you know, that they didn't think it was cheating. And they just thought it was, you know, they were trying to avoid playing the mace. They played them enough in the in the leagues. They didn't want to play them in ladder, so they just avoided them. And and like honestly, those guys, those, some of the guys were totally believable. And had like Sergal acted like that, I, I don't think anybody would have had a problem with Sergal. But um, he didn't. <laughs> he had, he did himself no favors with the way he reacted. That was the biggest thing with Sergal. Um, but yeah, this is interesting. <laughs> yes, J5. <GFR, yeah. laughs> yeah, first the Olympic ceremonies and now this. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. And you know, the, look, at the end of the day, this, the, the UC, they, they did the crime and served the time, didn't they? We all thought it was too light. Um, the, the banned for one season, which was six weeks, on one platform. So that, so that, that season they played on PC anyway. So it was basically no punishment at all for the for the UC, but um, at least at least you know they did they took the punishment and they did it right. So in the if if there was law <laughs> in cyanide's law, um, you know they've done it right. So fair enough, right? Like at the end of the day, uh, who was it? Gatlin, was it Gatlin or Gay? One of one of those two uh, in the. Got like constantly popped for PEDs, didn't he? In the in the athletics, and he just kept doing his ban and then coming back and carrying on. So you know, like if 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 that's the case, that's the case, right? You've got to respect. Unfortunately, you've got to respect the official rulings, haven't you? So maybe it's time to stop slating Arzawain so much um, for being a cheat. <laughs> and maybe the problem is, I just kind of don't like cheats in general, right? And. Uh, if they cheat with that one thing, who knows what else they cheat with is the way I look at it, and I really don't like it. By the way, this Blitz here will obviously be on the Troll Slayer, right? Oh no, he's not armor 9, I was going to say because he's armor 9+, plus, but he's not, he's armor 10+, plus. he's got the AV up. So he's no longer a weak link. Wonderful thing. This would have been a good Blitz. I don't get this because he's leaving these guys in contact, isn't he, guaranteed? Um... Oh, he gets a removal though. 
So I guess he's going to go heavy into these two to try and isolate them and win that fight a little bit. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, that there could be like some, like, you know, I'm, I, I'm not like making excuses for him just because he's in the Super League and that, but, um, you know, there could be an element of uh, lost in translation. Same for the UC, right? Like, that, that maybe that was it. Maybe, maybe you know, things are lost in translation a bit, and maybe he's trying to be friendly and stuff. But yeah. oh wow! No, you mean because he's just fully admitting to cheating <laughs> several times? <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. Yep, yeah, okay, yeah, for himself, he should have t stopped typing, yes. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Fair enough, J5. <laughs> You're the boss. You're the boss. If that's what you want to do, like, that's what, like, the British did with uh, Dwayne Chambers, right? Dwayne Chambers uh, failed drugs test once, and so the UK Athletics Association or Commission or whatever, like, banned him for life, right? And then eventually got it overturned. Whereas the Americans, they get banned by like the official people, and then they just serve their time and come back. So it, it's in, that's interesting. It's funny he sent me a message saying, "Can I be back next season?" This was a few days ago. I'm re I'm loving this, and I'm like, "Yeah, of course you can." <laughs> and then J Five's like, "No, <laughs> he's banned forever." <laughs> <laughs> But, um, yeah, honestly, Ali Rida, monitoring that thread is the definition of, uh, wait until I speak to my lawyer, isn't it? <laughs> just like, I only cheated four times. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> oh, dear. Pretty funny. It's funny, you know, I, I did see a thing on the internet. Oh my god, this is a gay bit. This is weird, right? Like, this is huge, because you can drive a massive wedge in between this team here. This is very interesting. You don't need to go all out on the pressure, right? Because, first of all, because they're dwarves. So, you, you can you can blitz this guy with a defensive. First of all, he's defensive, so it's a great fucking play. It's a great, great time to hit him when you don't need assists or anything. Because he's not, like, you know, he's not in the middle of two other guards or anything. So, it's a great time to hit this uh this defensive guy anyway you you don't need to blitz him because you've got a thing so he's uh you've got a channel anyway so you don't need to knock him over so it's it's a great time to hit him and then obviously you've got a gaping hole to completely split the team with just a little bit of threat and it's going to be very very tricky for Arzawain if this is a good turn from bright <sighs> yes Fluggy, yeah <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> yeah, that was a. Uh... Oh, he's got he's got juggernaut anyway. So there you go. He'll he'll just get the push on him. Not oh, into a follow up hit. Interesting. Inter I'm not I'm not sure to seek so many hits. But again, maybe I'm wrong. Right? Um, after yesterday, maybe that's the wrong way. Maybe you should always be seeking more hits, um, especially with block and mighty blow. So yep. Yeah, I don't think he has to come too far, right? Like, he's gone quite far there. Um, obviously, he has to get into range. So, three, six, seven, eight. So, yeah, this is probably the right, exactly the right square. Even though it was as far as he could go, he can double GFI to get to the corner. So, this is probably the perfect square for him. And he just needs enough, like, cover for him. And maybe another blitzer up. And this is a, this is enough pressure to really, really worry uh, Osmond. He doesn't even have to get behind him, right? He actually doesn't need to get behind him. Because dwarves can't dodge very well. So he just needs people tagged and somewhat. Yeah, yeah, this one. I, I'd have put him here, I think. I'd have put him here just to stop this stuff coming back. I think I'd have put him there. Maybe there, maybe there. Maybe this guy could have been there. Or here. But, I mean, this is this is a lot of problems for uh, Arthur Wayne. Is it Arthur Wayne? Because he's... Uh, or Arthur Van or something. I, I, Arthur Wan? I don't, know, I don't know how you pronounce it. They do Zeds as Thuz, don't they? Spanish. 
I know that from F1 <laughs> and uh, summer football. Yeah, 18's an, 18 is an adult, 100%. It's weird, like, modern society is very weird how, like, people think of 18 being kids. Um, because, like, you know, I think there's a happy medium between wrapping people in cotton wool until they're 24 and then saying they're an adult and, you know, sending kids down the mines when they're 10, right? I think both, <laughs> neither of those are great, but, like, you know, in, in old times... You know, thirteens <laughs> were adults, weren't they? Like it's crazy. So like, but yeah, eighteen is what is what most modern countries have decided is an adult, isn't it? Hello, Dimi. What has happened is Monitor, amongst others, have fully cheated in the ladder. Um, full match fixing: four four draws, five five draws, um, pushing their opponents into scoring range only making two blocks in a match, um, all this kind of stuff. So yeah, pretty bad. Yeah. Yes, you're like less experienced, right? You're less wise. I know it sounds stupid to like, kind of call people wise, but you definitely do kind of like, that's the difference, isn't it? You still, I don't think you change much in terms of intelligence. I mean, well, it gets it gets less, doesn't it, as you get older, I guess, as your brain gets worse. But, um, but like, you do get what, more wise. See, this is the thing, right? He didn't stand this guy up and he dodged this guy. And he left. He just left all these players free to, like, okay, it sucks that they get hit, but I would have totally stood these guys up to get their hits and stop him reconnecting like this. I think this was a bad move from Bright. Real bad move. You put the extra player in for this extra hit and then took two players out. Those two players, even if it only takes two actions to punch them, it means this cage is only three players instead of instead of four. So. Yes. <laughs> Fair enough, J5. I mean, different personalities are different, aren't they? Like that, that's a thing. And uh, yes, you, you do also know that lying and cheating is bad when you're young, yeah. Yes, uh, and like honestly, like the UC's one um, of the avoidance that is genuinely has plausible deniability, right? You can actually take their argument, you can believe their argument that they didn't know it was wrong, right? Even if you like take a really dim view of cheaters and you don't believe, you know, if you believe the worst in everybody and, and blah, 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 well, however you think, they could be telling the truth and they could have thought that, that avoiding each other wasn't that bad. But when you set up to draw 5-5 five, five with somebody and make two blocks, then um, then you know that's wrong. There's no way there's no way on earth you can not know that's wrong to like draw 4-4 four, four and push your opponent into range so you can score a touchdown and stuff. I <laughs> only cheated four times, brilliant. <laughs> yeah. They, yeah, they, they knew that's wrong. There's no there's no way they didn't know they were cheating and they didn't know it was wrong. There's absolutely... Absolutely... Uh, there's absolutely no way that they didn't know that was wrong. I mean, every everyone knows that's wrong, don't they? Everyone knows <laughs> farming SPPs and results against people is wrong. You, th there's an argument. You could say that you didn't know it was wrong to avoid people because you just played them in the league all the time. Blah 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 blah. But this is definitely not. Oh wow, it's a huge stun. Maybe this was a setup turn, like trap, trap cage from Bright. I don't know. I I, feel, I I do feel like he should have uh, he should have stood up up here though. Is this guy going to come in there? No. Interesting. If he was movement six, I actually did quite like him coming around to here. Um. But this is fair enough. Like he's a bit like a safety. Like at the end of the day, this guy is pretty annoying, isn't he? The uh, the movement eight, which two plus player, he can just potato off. So it makes sense that if he potatoes off that way, you want somebody to let him assist at least. Maybe he doesn't need to be that far over, right? Maybe he could have been here. One one less, he could have been here. 
I might have been a bit stronger. Two stuns again. A lot of trouble for ours away. That stun is actually huge, isn't it? Two stuns. Huge. <laughs> the return of Patrick Balkany. Yeah, two <laughs> Flip me. Yeah. This is a this is a tough turn, isn't it? Three three stuns. And he's already down a player as well. Like this is the thing, right? Banging matters, doesn't it? Banging matters. Like, okay, you know, you can say that Bright's a good blood ball player, which he is. And he's put his players in good squares, which he probably has. But the bigger impact is the fact that he's removed a player and Arzawain has three stun players. And you know, that's much more impactful than if this player had been two squares back that might have been a better square or, or this guy had been stood here or, or anything like that, right? The three stuns and the removal is just bigger. It's just bigger than the other. Like, unless it's something massively and obviously wrong. Removals are, in like block dice and removals are just incredibly important. And uh, yeah, I might I might shift my focus. Actually, I may I may attempt to become more of a banger. So there you go. Well, Baron Bucky, hello everybody else. Hello everybody. I haven't said hello to, but hello. Never allowed the part of the bank. I was always the bank when I played. Because, you know, I was the clever one. <laughs> Where's the ball going? Just there. I was the only one who'd actually read the rules. Which most people, I think, don't read the rules of Monopoly. Like, ever. But of course I did read the rules. And, yeah. Good at the maths. Okay, this is a pretty good solution from ours away, to be fair. Break tackle, rolls a one. Needed a three. I assume that's a random break tackle. Yeah, exactly, Ali Raider, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 100%. <laughs> So now, you know, he's, he's survived he survived the stun turn to an extent, but it still has a knock-on effect, right? Because, like, these two down players can be just based up by one rubbish lineman. In fact, like, this rookie lineman can then go and base these two down players, can't he? In fact, no, this lineman can base these two, and then this lineman can come and base these two, and then all of the others can swarm through here and surround. I think you blitz this guy. I think you blitz this guy. Juggernaut player. Juggernaut player blitzes him. Um, and then you come in. Players in front. Player behind maybe. Three, four, five, six. GFI, GFI. This guy could double GFI. Oh, he's, he's movement eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. He could go, in fact, he could blitz him, couldn't he? What about this guy? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Maybe four plus dodge. Ah, uh, can't really do it. But this guy can maybe, you know, just go here or something. There's a few options, but that's what I like. I like putting the rookie lineman to tag, double tag out these players. Juggernaut blitz on this guy. Oh, he's put, he put this guy in the wrong square, in my opinion. I would have had a, I would have had the assist here and then blitzed him. Okay, so he's... Oh, he's, he's based with him! All right, he's hitting the ball then. All right, yeah, I didn't see that he was just stood there. <laughs> so straight in for the ball. Have to re-roll this. Mm, don't really want to re-roll this now. Does, though. Gets the power. Oh... It's in a tackle zone, but I think I think you just go for the pickup here, right? 
one, two, three, four, five, six. And then, like, dodge out as well. Because otherwise this guy will just dodge out and pick it up and do things. Yeah, it's wild, isn't it, Ali Raider? It's absolutely wild. I know, no, the, if he doesn't pick it up, uh, yeah, I guess he can put a second tackle zone on. But at the moment, the runner can just dodge out and pick it up. But yes, he could just put, he could put three tackle zones on it, in fact, couldn't he? You could actually just put three tackle zones on it. Yeah. And then get a foul in. Or oh, foul him. It was just a straight route through. Yeah, pretty good. Pretty good. And yeah, this lineman's tagging these two out. Biggins tagging them too. I would have liked somebody in between, but like obviously assisting him off the ball side this term is. With six and two threes, honestly, I I quite like the idea of just blitzing this guy and getting completely, you know, trying to completely stop him. The problem is, then he could just roll some threes and fours and get away. Whereas at least if you do nail him on the blitz, which cost cost quite two re rolls to be fair, but if you do nail him, then yeah, it's looking very good, isn't it? Does this guy have to dodge? And then 1D this fella for the scatter and then dodge out with him. But even if you do that, like, where do you go? This is a nightmare. Nightmare situation for the dwarves. Got pretty interesting, uh, despite the original tangent of of ladder. <laughs> Very good, Jeff. nice isn't it oh yeah so he could do that block first and now he can do this dodge and two dice splits this fellow the temptation here is obviously just apple this and then you keep the pressure on this half hope that you're going one nil up and then concentrate primarily on fighting the second half to shore up your one nil victory um, however the problem is now you're at the mercy of random Kaz for the rest of the match. Uh, which can obviously impact the final, but at least you win this one. Yeah, I, I quite like that dodge to her, uh, because it's three plus, isn't it? Because he's got he's got break tackle. And then now, obviously, everything just gets cleared off. And uh, it's an easy, easy 1-0 for, uh, for Bright. Should be. Well, he's only got one reroll, but it should be pretty easy. I mean, it's very easy to clear these. No, I guess he's still here, but he's got the blitz if he has to, right? This guy's got Juggernaut. So he could block him and scatter it first. A blockless block, but he's only got one ring. It's tricky. It actually is trickier than it looks. Because I guess you can block him first. And if you if you don't push him, then you can always just blitz with this guy to get the push. But you want to push him that way anyway. I don't know, maybe you just block everything and see what happens. Make as many blocks as you can is very good blood ball.
that's huge, isn't it? That's a monster. The problem is now this guy's a uh, this guy's a blockless block that he basically has to make. Maybe not though. Maybe not if he gets a good scatter. And he does have this guy to hit as well. He's used his blitz, which is a big concern. And now he's given the ball to this guy. Yeah, I didn't like starting with a blitz. I thought that was very poor. Oh my god, dub skulls. Instant reroll. Only pushed him. <laughs> oh god. Three, four, five. He can't really make it 3D either. Oh, yeah, I hated starting with a blitz. You've got to save your blitz in case bad things happen. Okay, repows him. But now the, the runner can just run away with it here, potentially. Oh, it's in two tackles on! <laughs> He's got to make blockless blocks. Uh, block, he can't even block. Oh no, he's got this guy free. He's got this guy free. So this guy can come down to there. And then make this one a 2D. And if he pals, he gets another 2D. So yeah, this guy comes here. Probably should have come here earlier, actually. Probably should have come before the block. Oh wait, can he not reach? One, two, three, four. He couldn't reach. Flip me. Just got a foul for this guy, I guess. Three assists. Like, you've got to keep this guy out of the game. I would have done that before the block, just in case of one in nine actually goes. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I would have gone for the foul on this guy because just a 4-2 to get him out and then things can happen Yeah, I just thought I just thought it was we had the movement. I just literally, for some reason, I thought he could go one, two, three, four, five. I just didn't see this guy somehow, <laughs> even though I knew that's where he wanted to be. Hello, evil moose. Like I knew this. Like he wanted to be. He wanted to be in this square to punch this guy and this guy. So I knew he was there when I was thinking where he wanted to punch, but he just couldn't reach. Like he could have. He could have reached. He could have double GFI'd, right? But he double GFI was a bad idea. So he technically could have got there. But yeah, for some reason I just didn't didn't think properly. <laughs> we don't know, Dimmy, we don't know. But um we don't know who the random guy is who found out because he made an alt to report them very cleverly after Calcium got banned permanently banned for, for whistleblowing previously, so this chap made a new account to to report them. And um yeah, we, we don't know what their punishment will be, but there you go. Oh my god, dub skulls there, no rerolls. Stunned again. This has definitely been a dicing, you know, I'm not uh, as you know, no I'm not an Arzalane fan, but um this has definitely been a dicing for Arzalane. And um, as much as Bright has rolled three dub skulls, the the armor rolls have been very much in his favour. Well that's a good question, Dimmy. I mean, I know what I would do, but um, it's all up to Cyanide, isn't it? There you go. It would be hilarious if this was Calcium on, 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 on a throwaway out, wouldn't it? That would be the funniest thing ever. Maybe it was somebody in, like, in their community thought, this is wrong. Finally, who knows?
violence against the Constitution. It was hilarious that they accused him of, like, cyberbullying. When I just think it was a, a common sense thing to do, right? I mean, <laughs> I know that I, I know that a small group of French blood bowlers aren't the same as BAE. <laughs> but... Being a whistleblower generally isn't uh, isn't a, <laughs> isn't a good thing to be, is it? <laughs> wow, that was a brutal non non uh, anything. Just go for the pickup now, I think. Don't. Well, I guess you could block with you could block with it. Oh God, and he's completely free now. Oh, oh, and he's dub scored. <laughs> oh God, the fourth dub score of the half. If Arzawain gets out of this at nil-nil, that is unbelievable. That is actually unbelievable. Unbelievable. Oh my god, calcium like uh, Eminem, right? In, in that... <laughs> Eminem in that video. <laughs> I can imagine Kaz like exactly like that. <laughs> Maybe it's Arsene Wenger. He was kind of like that, wasn't he? Maybe he plays Blood Bowl and he was like, he's like, oh, I don't like this cheating. Don't like this cheating malarkey. I mean, I was looking at one of the replays, so they, they, they've done it in the last two weeks. Or one week. One week, I think, the replays last for, so... I mean, he can't do a lot here, Arzawain. To be fair, we really can't do a lot. Another two stuns. Yeah, and then that was probably his best shot. Hope for like a good scatter. Probably should have done that on the first what hit. Oh, I guess because if it was a push, he would, this would have been a 1D. Yeah. So do this one first, and then if it's a push, then this one's a 1D. Get there, and it could have like scattered out there or something, right? And then 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. GFI, GFI, and he's away. So yeah, that was what he had to do. So now, there's only one. I mean, he should try and make this a 3D. He's got so many players, he could try to make it a 3D. I guess he can't. He can push, he can push his thrower up. And then three, four, five, six. GFI, lob it. Maybe don't GFI because... Oh, he's got plus move. Yeah, he's got plus move. Three, four, five, six. And then just throw from there. Make the throw harder. But at least you've got a reroll for it. And, uh, you know, G G failing the GFI is terrible, isn't it? One, two, oh, man, he... So this big one wants to go, like, here. Here, first. This big one definitely wanted to go here. Million percent. Million percent. Big mistake there by Bright. Okay, he's not passing it this turn. He's got, okay, but still. I still want him there or there or somewhere. Because at the moment he's just relying on breaking this guy's AV. I mean, well. Because this is really easy for just 3 plus 3 plus to hit, isn't it? This is a problem. Because he's only got the one scoring threat. I guess this guy could be a scoring threat. Very unlikely. Okay, so the, the, the stun, I mean, he was pretty reliant on getting that stun. But now it's like a dodge. 3-2-2 two, two for a 1D. 
three two two for a one D. And if he pals. This is the dwarf drive, yeah. Yeah, it's been an absolute disaster for us. Oh, he does need to get forward. Oh my god, there could have been a jump as well. There could have been a jump at some point. Because Zazawain really was in the shit. So there they could have been. Yeah, here we go. 3 2 2. Oh, I failed the second one. So now, you don't bother with your hits, I think. You just make a bit of a bubble box and do the handoff without any rerolls in play. Oh, he's doing the 3D to get the defensive. Well, I guess 3D with Mighty Blown defensive probably is worth it, actually. And you can still add these two at the bubble box. But no more hits. So, so no bubble box. Like, this is only a slight optimization, of course. But, um, you know, it, it's just definitely optimal. It's one of the good things that you can see is definitely optimal, right? Like, there's everything's got a positional cost normally, but when you're just going to score the next thing, it's, it's definitely better. So the bubble box, if you don't know what it is, because there could be new people, isn't there? There could be new people. If, you, uh, if you're going to hand off to this fella... If you've got players in, like, say, these four squares, if it scatters to there, they could fail to catch it, and it could scatter back to him, and then he could catch it, and then he could still run and score. So um, it's adding, like, tiny, tiny percentages. It really doesn't matter at all. But <laughs> um, it will matter, like, you know, one in a one in a hundred times or whatever. Um, and if you've got four of them, then it matters four in a hundred times. And then it's suddenly not looking stupid at all, is it? So there you go. Yeah, I mean, no one's going to add a 1 in 36 failure, right? Like, no one's going to add a 2 plus if they can help it. And, okay, that's a 1 in 36. But that's about 3%, right? So putting four players for those squares... I mean, I don't know, it'd take like a 1 in 64, wouldn't it? And then a 1 in 128... Basically, it's a 1 in 128. Oh, and then you'd have to catch it afterwards as well. <laughs> so, I don't know, maybe it's more like 1 in 200. But still, 4 of them is adding 2%, four of them is adding 2 isn't it? Ish. A bit, a bit more, actually. A bit more than that. So, it's not a lot. But it is definitely... 100% better like there's no doubt that it's just better whether it's enough better to make you click on the squares is arguable <laughs> I guess <laughs> I guess the time out of your life to do it I guess taking the time out of your life to, to, to move the squares you can argue doesn't make it worth it but um, if this was a game of Blood Bowl for a million million dollars then yes it would be strictly better having those players than not. So now this is very strong, isn't it, for Bright? This this KO stayed out. So one of the best players for the Dwarves is off. The Orcs are still absolutely full strength. Huge favourite now, Bright. Oh, this guy can go there and then he can get the foul in on this fella, can he? That's a really good foul. Stand firm guard. In fact, it doesn't need to be this player, it can be that this lineman can go up there. So you're exposing the lineman and you're getting a foul. Plus four foul. So yeah, you definitely want to make that a foul. Hmm. This guy's going to have to move over. I mean, a 3 assist foul is alright, but I think it was probably worth making it a 4 assist and just stay more central. Also, you would be fully exposing the lineman rather than the big one. Ah! 
the extra assist didn't matter, but it could have done. It could have done. It's mad that there's been like, well, two collusion, two collusion uh, happenings in Blood Bowl, isn't it? So yeah, stand firm on him, no frenzy for the orcs, there's no point thinking about any cool surfs, just uh Maximize the banging in one of two ways, right? Either either blitz this guy and block him, or blitz this guy and block him. And then block him and just leave him. Seeing as this guy's strength thought might be better to uh to just block him, leave him based, and try and blitz one of these and block the other. Or you could just leave this guy off, right? Dodge him away at the end. That's also an option. generally punching is best if you possibly can and fouling the sneaky get dirty playing Beat him off. This is potentially a surf, right? Blitz him and then block him. It's uh, it's probably not good, <laughs> but it's possible. J5. <laughs> J5 in the, in the Blood Bowl 3 disco. <laughs> I'll say it, it's funny. <laughs> Has anyone asked how old Johan is? <laughs> Could he theoretically be Monitor's dad? <laughs> He's in a lot of trouble. So he's just gone in for the mash, mash, mash wall. Makes sense, right? Something might happen. This is what I do when I'm dwarves against orcs and I feel like I've got no hope in hell. You know, 
just whack it in, hope they're all bad, and then you've got chances, right? Like, you'll get box back here, actually, almost guaranteed. Is it guaranteed? One, one, one. Yeah, you're guaranteed to at least get a block back. Um, some French guy's punter. Some French guys. Match fixing, in fact. Match fixing. And like SPP farming. Albachon, monitor. Dryak, rum window. Um, those at least. At least those. Probably some more. So yeah, pretty bad. It was funny as well because when it happened, you know, with the with the uh, with the UC, I remember who was the guy. It wasn't Nacon then, was it? it Focus. The Focus guy was like, uh, was like, come on, it's not like they've committed war crimes. Which, first of all, I thought was you know obviously insane. The second thing was. Um, <laughs> <laughs> War crimes is actually like the worst thing you can do in in terms of like being alive, isn't it? Because obviously murder is is generally the worst thing you can do. But in a war, you're like allowed to kill people, aren't you? So War crimes is it, when you're in a situation when you're allowed to kill people, you kill people in like a bad way. <laughs> so like so like War crimes is basically is actually the worst thing on earth you can do, right? And he's like, oh, they haven't exactly committed war crimes. And it's like, yeah, okay, they haven't done literally the worst thing on earth that you can do. But what they did do was the worst thing you can do in the context of a game, isn't it? Which is to cheat. Like, that's that's absolutely the worst thing you can do in the context of a game, is to cheat. So, there you go. Like, if you're cheating <laughs> in a game, for money. Ah, yes, okay, yeah, that's true. That's it, and it doesn't matter whether it's a game or a sport or whatever, like, that's the worst thing you can do in terms of the sport or the game, right? Um, whereas, like, obviously, if you have a fight in that game or whatever, then uh, that's outside of the game, isn't it? You know, like, the Cantona Kung Fu kick, the Zidane headbutt, things like that aren't really part of the game, are they? Like, you know, they're, they're outside the game. Obviously, if you're, at an, if you're at a Blood Bowl tournament in real life and you punch the guy you're playing, that's not really a Blood Bowl incident, is it? It's a, it's a physical violence incident. So yes, in terms, of a, in terms of a game, the worst thing you can do is cheat. It actually is the worst thing you can possibly do, is cheat. So I always thought that was funny, that first of all, he, he equated to literally the worst thing on earth you can possibly do, and then said, well, it's not as bad as that, is it? <laughs> So there you go, look, this didn't this pay off for Arzawain, right? He, he based up with everybody, and then a turn later, so, somehow all of his players are standing, and one, two, three, four, five of Bright's players start off prone, and he had a player knocked out. So huge swing this drive for Arzawain. Great couple of turns, the, the jamming in with everybody sure has paid off. He's got like nine guard now. And maybe, maybe Bright should have played it differently. Like maybe, maybe Bright got himself into trouble, didn't play as well as he could have done. Um, but super interesting all of a sudden. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Jesus, big sword. <laughs> yeah, but that's what I mean. Like, that, but like, generally, murder's the the worst thing that a human can do, isn't it? But then. And I know, like, you know, like, soldiers don't commit murder, right? Because it's like, they're allowed to shoot at the enemy or whatever. But that's, like, you know, war, like, kind of allows killing people. <laughs> so things that war doesn't allow has to be the worst thing you can do, doesn't it? It just ha kind of has to be. Yes, he admitted to cheating four times, not admitted that they were the, that they are the only times, yeah, 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 he admitted to cheating four times, yeah. yeah.
One of them is admitted to cheating four times. And, I mean, there's proof, there is proof of, like, you can just look at the replays of, of you know. There's some replays where, like, they drew 5-5, five, five, pushing each other into range to score and stuff. So, yeah, it's, it's full, full, 100% cheating, no doubt. Absolute, undoubted, full, 100% cheating. Without even plausible deniability, right? Like, at, as I say, at least, at least the UC could have genuinely believed what they did wasn't cheating. They'd have been wrong, but they could have believed it. <laughs> you know, people can be wrong, people can make mistakes, can't they? But, um... No, this is like 100% cheating. Some French guys, Wotan, uh, Monitor and Albichon, two of them. Confirmed by themselves. <laughs> <laughs> by themselves, by the way. I'm not accusing them. <laughs> I'm not calling them this. I'm not I'm not just calling them this. This is just they admitted it. So Yes, exactly. They are they are the poster boys for why uh why lawyers say <laughs> just say no comment. <laughs> You know, some of it will have been lost in translation. I'm sure they're not, like, 100% evil people or whatever, right? Ooh. I thought he might do this double J fight attack. Oh, my God. He's out of rerolls already, Arzawain. So it's cost him a lot to get in this position. But we're going for the uh, 4 plus dodge in 2D here. Wow. This has been an insane half, by the way. As I've been talking about the the cheats too much, but you know it's a it's a like it's an it's a huge revelation, isn't it, in terms of Blood Bowl? So I do apologise for that getting in the way. But yeah, it's like it is pretty big news because it is literally the worst thing you can do in in the context of a game, isn't it? Wow! So he can't chain off with this guy, because he's got stand firm. Unless he blitzes him, but then he can't hit him from that direction. But he does get the power, that's massive. And he's got nobody free to even blitz. Um, it's in the Blood Bowl 3 Discord, in uh, in feedback match range. There you go. Yep. There's a dead, dead, dead for you. He just eats it. He's got two niggling injuries, so Apple would have been very unlikely to work. So he just eats that death. Also, he's very likely to lose at this point. Though not that likely, right? Like, this is terrifying. A, a movement 8, agility 2 plus player in the backfield. Like, at least he's out of range. But this is this is horrific for, uh, for Bright. This guy has to, like, blitz and then assist a block, I guess. Oh, he's just stood him up. He can't do it. This guy's got break tackle. So he blitzes. He's got break tackle, so he blitzes. Or, no, he's got stand firm. Yeah, he just has to dodge blitz. He just has to dodge blitz. Yeah, yeah, I think the Orcs... I think Bright... You know, probably did play it. Well, what happened is he, he got based up by everything, right? So he probably what he probably should have done was had a more limited kind of layered formation so that he couldn't just get everything walled off. And then when everything got walled off, he's, it's tough, right? Because he either just goes and fights everything or he, uh, or he gets half his team isolated and then knocked down and stuff. So he, he wasn't a, what he was. It was a tough situation, like everything getting based up like that. And then, yeah, but it looks like this push to the side was a bad idea. Maybe just try and re-centralise and just, you know, um, just, just turtle. Just turtle for the 1-0. That's the play. Wow, that's pretty good, punter. But 
Um, oh my god, he d he's done a pass. And he's done a catch. Does this get him away from everybody? With like one GFI, he's clear of everybody. Oh, he's re -roll. He's got to re-roll it. And he can do another one, then he can't get based, right? If he does another one, he's, he's got to do another one so he doesn't get based. Yeah. Oh my god, what a play. What a play! Amazing. Amazing play. Um... Yeah, no, that that's just that's just luck, Punda. I mean, if you look at if you look at Artemis's six game six game Lizardman team, he's got all of his source have got block. One's got mighty blow. One's got guard, and his Croxigore's got block. Like that's just the most insane six game team I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> Absolutely unbelievable. This is incredible, isn't it? I mean, I don't think he can even get a chain at all anywhere here. It was risky, but you know, ultimately, how much, how risky is it to not do that, right? Like, if he just stands here, everything's getting punched down again. This guy's behind enemy lines. Like, it's tough. Where's this? Like, yeah, okay, it was a four plus pass. It was a six plus intercept, three plus catch, two plus two plus for the GFIs. But he had rerolls for it all. He would have used all rerolls this turn doing it. And he just wins, doesn't it? The payoff is he just wins, which is pretty good. So. uh as far as payoffs being you just 100% win, <laughs> it's a pretty good payoff. And it's not even gets to stall out as well now. No one even moved. No one even moved towards him, so he can stall out and just now he can start winning the fight. Right, the dwarves have got two players down. He's got everybody stood up, so now he can try and start winning the fight even. So he'll probably get this out to turn 16. Um, Yes. Yeah, exactly. It's a, it's a really easy thing to cheat at. Yeah, like it. Honestly, it's so easy to cheat at. That's probably the best, the best defense for not putting rules against it, right? Because it's just so hard to catch. <laughs> but when people just do it and get caught, that's it, isn't it? I mean. Unbelievable. So I think what you want to do here is blitz this fella with this guy and then block him and then that frees this one to get fouled. I think that was the play, right? Because at the moment he can't hit him because of this guy. So I'd have blitzed him. Or even from here. And then block him and then try and foul him again. Because this is this is the guy who can do anything for the dwarves. None of the others can move, but he can two plus and get anywhere. So you really want to make that foul. You know, okay, you can just have him in, but I would have I would have put him in there and blitzed him. And then it doesn't foul him. Oh man, I would have definitely for like a million percent fouled him. Oh, he did. No, oh, he didn't. He didn't foul him. He just moved. Man, you gotta foul him. Come on, man. He gotta foul him.
Dimbo. Hello, Dimbo. How's it going, mate? You alright? Yeah, I'm alright. How are you? I was, just, I, was, I was watching this game when I was working and I was like, ugh. <laughs> ugh. Like this classic orcs versus dwarves, isn't it? It's been, it's been pretty fucking exciting. I think, as far as the game goes, you know, like the the first the 2D half. 2D blocks? 2D blocks? Yeah, there's been lots of blocking. Um, the first half, the dwarves, you know, like got into a lot of trouble and, and it was will they be able to escape and, or, you know, maybe defend it, but obviously they ended up not defending it. And the second half, that they did the whole wall in front and, you know, they started to win the fight and it got very exciting with this with this crazy pass play. So, yeah, I thought it was a cool game. Crazy pass play. Yeah, I mean it was pretty wild, wasn't it? Runs runs across, and lobs it to him, and fucks off. That was great. It was a proper wood elf play, but with the orcs. <laughs> Mister Throw doing his job. Our Christopher B about to get banned, I think. <laughs> what? Oh, is he? Oh god. <laughs> Nobs OP. <laughs> Gonna actually permanent ban him one day. <laughs> Not even mention it. You'll just be like, "Oh, what happened to Chris? <laughs> he was such a nice fellow. <laughs> don't see him much anymore around here, do we?" <laughs> oh man, brutal. <laughs> do you want a Do you want a game of Blood Bowl after this, Timmy? Nafs, Nafs yeah, time. I do. Yeah, you're you're. Undead, right? To practice for Undead. Undead for you. Make, I need to make it seem. UKTC. How many skills do they get in Eurobowl though? Because I don't think it's the same as. I think they get six. Yeah, they do. They I get, get an six. Extra one. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, mate, I haven't got work for like five days. Fucking hell. Feels like I've just took a massive injection of something naughty. <laughs> Wait. It's amazing. Whoa, glorious. <clears throat> oh, let me load up PV3. <laughs> so it's going to be an orc mirror, is it? Or something? Uh, yeah, I think it. I think it. No, no, no. Oh, no, orcs no, 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 no. Orcs Dells. Orcs Dells, yeah. Oh, um, wow. Mr. Page. Lost to. Oh, it's a um, Russian off, isn't it? It's a Russian off. Yeah, yeah. Sort of spoilers for the other semi, but. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, sorry. Uh, Diamond did beat Mr. Page. Um, so, yeah, it's Diamond versus Bright. Basically confirmed, right? Because he's definitely going to score next turn, so. I hope he does a dance. I hope <laughs> Bright does a dance. <laughs> if he doesn't do a dance, he's going to lose the final. If he hasn't got the, uh, the drive and the passion. <laughs> The commitment and the dedication. Yeah, and he, he should yeah. he should do the dance, and then stop one square short, then hit an emote, and then <laughs> step in. Oh, that's like, brilliant! That that is that is peak Blood Bowl three. Oh, that is brilliant. The craziest thing is he hasn't even taken any damage. He like took two KOs, a yap or one KO, and then took another KO. That's all he took against this team with like seven mighty blowing, seven stand firm, nine a uh, ten guard. And he just took nothing. Took. All of a took. Took. So I'm going to make the team that I'm going to play rather than the best team against what you're going to play. Yes, thanks. That's fair. That's how you should do it. Tailoring is very bad, yo. Yo. So can you just chain me into the end zone, please? <laughs> hey, let's have a 4-4 four, four draw. <laughs> Make sure there's no overtime in this ladder. Uh, <laughs> uh, crazy. Oh, dear. So, what's the score now? Do I just sign up for it? And, uh, like, yeah, I think because you've because you've done the password once, you're just in the league now. You can just you can just enter the league. For I haven't done the password at all. All right, well you'll have to enter the password. Oh, next okay. Time then. And then once you've entered it once, then I think you'll be all right from that point forward. Putting on his goblin to die. <laughs> I didn't even make his blocks. Fair enough. And the, the whole thing, you know, some people say it's rude to make your blocks there. Some people say it's rude not to. 
but uh, at the end of the day, it's only minorly affecting one of the one of the possible finalists. So it doesn't matter, does it? So there you go. That was that was um, an interesting game. I thought a good game and uh, well played. And congratulations to Bright. This is the other thing as well. Is I'm. Uh... Oh yeah, sorry. Congratulations, Bright. Commiserations, Arzo. And uh, good luck in the final. Yes. Not too much. <laughs> yes, and uh, we'll 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 cast that obviously uh, live when the final's on. And uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.